god, dude, what a colossal <laughs> shit show. So okay, so that was, and then and then that was all on lunch today. God, that that happened today? Yeah, <laughs> on lunch. Fuck. Fucking, I was in and out of that bitch in 35 minutes. God damn. It sounds like you were there for, for two like days. two hours. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I mean, at least it was at least it was just that, but. But I, yeah, that's Here, far as I know. Take these motherfuckers away from me. I'll eat one. <laughs> no, you're gonna eat all of them. I'll eat one of these. I done killed by half that bag. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, oh, I haven't even opened the internet. Welcome back. Got it. To 307 Ranch. Yes. Our Frank Tedesco got it was it was it was like partially blocked because oh, there was, was a fucking Sony Music in one of his little reviews. Oh yeah. And I forgot to edit it out in the thing. Oh, so Okay. I had YouTube mute that whole part. Just everything in that Terrific. section. So there's going to be a mute in our Frank Tedesco video. Yeah, it came out a week ago. Check <laughs> it out. Uh today's episode is more or less sponsored by Northside Babes. These guys shit. hooked us up with some cool shit. I have one too. And uh, yeah, they're pretty cool guys they're here really in Casper. Um, if you guys live in the local area or in Casper looking for some vape supplies or even what? They got beef jerky in there now. Dude, too, they got so. all sorts of stuff in there, man. Yeah, yeah they got all they sorts got, of glass. They got pipes. They got yeah. they got like e like e vapes and batteries and mods and all that stuff. I don't I don't use any of that stuff, but mm-hmm. uh, Becca was is like all about that, and she's been buying from them mm-hmm. basically since they like first started their business when they were pretty much selling out of the trunk of their car. Which mm-hmm. I can dig that because I've definitely sold CDs and stickers and stuff oh, out yeah. of the trunks of my cars before. So like, done the thing, and now man. they're they're full brick and mortar. They they're in like a double story building and they've got a full shop set up and like, they're yeah, they're killing it. Nice. So yeah, Northside Vapes is legit. Yeah. So we totally back them. If you're looking for tobacco products, that's the way to go. And then tobacco. I think there's a they, they're like an affiliate. They do CBD and they're shit they're too, like right? an, yeah. there's another company in the same building mm-hmm. right across from them that does mm-hmm. CBD stuff. So if you're yeah. interested in any of that, it's all in one place. It's a one stop shop. It's great. There Anyways, what are we doing? I haven't even pulled up the thing. So uh, I think let's take a look. <laughs> Hi, welcome we to 307 Reacts. Yeah, we can. <laughs> probably don't want to do this. Probably want to go here. Okay. Anyways, tell the people what we're doing, Chris. So Jeff Casalucci <laughs> did a cover of Man of Constant Sorrow for the second time. Yes. Uh, well, I guess technically the first time solo, okay, but the second time total in his career as far as I know. Okay. And uh, because, you know, we, we the first one we reacted to by them was... One of my first, yeah. one of the first, my first interactions or like experiences of Home Free was Man of Constant Sorrow. And I sat there the whole time just like, huh? So anyway, uh, so, now that we yeah. shouted out Northside Vapes one more time, okay? It's, it's, it's getting hot in it's here. It's getting hot in here. It's, it off, it's real humid in Wyoming. You had this weird weather fluctuation today where what? it was really nice this morning, and then it got cloudy this afternoon and cold, and then rained, and then stopped, and got really sunny again, and then monsoon rained again for like 10 minutes. And then hailed. And I then got hailed like a little bit. I got half an inch of hail in my truck bed. And now it's oh. sunny again, and everything's melting off, and there's like hardly any wind. So I don't know what's going on. Wyoming's having a real tough time with spring, but uh, we're getting there. You know, we're getting Wyoming's there. Wyoming's just having its time of the month, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get into this, shall we? Let's, get let's just it. let's just rip it and grip it, guys. Give us a subscription. That's all we're asking for this year. We're trying to yes. hit 50,000, 30,000, 40 more than what we have at this point, right? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Hang on. One second. We need to have one of those going. Yes. Let's try again. Let's go back a few seconds, and because I didn't have, you guys didn't see anything on the I, screen. I'm sorry, I was not there to save it this time. <laughs> so, anyways, okay. this is Jeff Castellucci's "Man of Constant Sorrow" low bass cover. Let's go. In constant sorrow. Woo! That was close. All through this day. I am a man of constant sorrow. Well, I've seen trouble all my day. Farewell to old Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. The place where he was born and raised. Is that an inhale? Are those inhales? No. In, in, in. It, it looks like he might be inhaling in that frame. And I know that that's a, that's a technique for getting low notes. I know that I, like... I know that Chris Lipe was talking about uh, whistle tone, and the way he does whistle tone is inhale. See, that's what I mean. That's like crazy. Like man. I know you can get. Uh, someone was saying in the comments on mm. one of our last voice play videos that Lane, their their percussionist, can actually mm. go lower than Jeff with inhale notes. 
Damn. So like I that's wild. I don't I know nothing about that that <laughs> world, but uh, that, I've heard that that's a thing. So I, and it looked like it didn't look like he was breathing out on that last one. It looked like he it looked like he took a breath in up. almost. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Um. Anyway, did you go back already? I you did, did didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So when he sings, uh, "Born," right? Listen to the way he sings it the first time, and then you know the the backup Jeffs. Yeah, um, <laughs> I like that. The backups. So, so the lead he says "born," be, because it leads into the next word. But he leads he he does it all in one word. Sure. Like there's sometimes if there's a weird thing, like I can't quite hit this line all in one breath, or it feels awkward. You'll combine um two but, words into one basically yeah. okay. and or maybe say the word a little bit different to kind of alleviate the use of breath or like it's some weird thing but but listen to it i'll point it out okay Happy farewell to old kentucky the place where i was born and raised born and raised the place where i was born and raised yeah born and born, born and raised, born and raised. I love it. I wonder if that's like a is that, could could some of that be contributed? To like, you know, it's supposed to be like an old timey type of is you know, and there there are versions of like old timey speech where people you know. Well, you I didn't would, get born you, yesterday. You, you know, would like think if that was the case, the backups would do it too, and they don't. Oh, do they not? I they wasn't paying not. attention. Listen oh, to this. Let's go. The place where I was born and raised. The place where he. They don't. They don't. They don't. And we missed the part where he's, I think he was taking the yeah. breath in, but I don't know. But wow, dude. That's, that's there's crazy, so much huh? happening. There's so much going on. Yeah, four, six long years I've been in trouble. No pleasures here on earth I've found. I like the brushwork. Right? in this world I'm bound to ramble. I have no friends to help me now. He has no friends to help him now. Oh, it's fairly well, my old true lover. Well, I never expect to see you again. Yeah. For I'm bound to run. Oh, okay. So <laughs> he lets the backup Jeffs take the lead in the way that the backups would sing the backups. So like, <laughs> so in the place where I was born and raised, right? And then in the place where he was born and raised, like, so you have the single and then the backups, right? And they stack where you have the single and then the backups come behind it. Well, now he's flipped it in the second verse where the backups go first and then the mm -hmm. single and then the backups and the – that's cool. It's a unique writing that's style an... for sure. It keeps it keeps everyone interested. You know, it keeps yeah. everything, like, interesting and, and, yeah. and like, uh, it keeps the listener listening, which is which is smart. It's a smart, smart move. Wild, man. Shall we? Yeah. And that weird, like, minor yeah. thing, what was that? I don't – Oh, I've been okay. traveling down this road And how my soul is gone astray I can feel it like a bullet No matter where I tread All my days I have been running From these ghosts within my head yeah. You can bury me I know you guys are going to kill us in the comments But that section of the song That is not part of Man of Constant Sorrow What song is that? I know I've heard it it's Oh, just... I... I didn't. I thought it was a part of the. Oh, I, I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna ask you. <laughs> yeah, you know better at this I point. Be like, I, what? <laughs> you oh, know, what just, classic country tune was that? Uh, from? Oh yeah, dude. I'm like, mm, yeah. uh -uh, not gonna happen. But now, when you hear this song, what's the? I don't know anything past the uh, like, the the. 
I guess in in Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Yeah. Like that. Anytime I hear this song, mm. that's what I think of. Yeah. Was that song made for that movie, or was there an artist before that, or because that's how I know the song, but oftentimes it's, it comes from some other origin. So there has been hot debate uh, in the music community as well as our comment section where we reacted to Home Free's version, um, where it, it's attributed to the Earl Scruggs. Okay. Oh, okay. He's the yeah, one yeah, yeah, who yeah, recorded yeah. it and made it famous. However, okay. However, many believe that it was written before Earl Scruggs because at, at that point music was just music. It wasn't licensed or copyrighted to anybody. Yeah, it, it was just handed yeah. down generation to generation. And there weren't a lot of places that were producing music either. Yeah, like it yeah. was. <laughs> so I mean, it's. A lot of people say the song could be 150 years old. It could be 100 years old. Some say it's only uh, okay. 80 years old okay. or 70. I mean, All it's... Right. Either way, uh, adapted for the movie, not written in the movie. Adapted for No, no, no. Gotcha. Adapted okay. See, and that's it, yes. what I didn't know. That's where I learned the song from was that movie. So, like... But yeah. then again, that's because I don't have bluegrass roots. I don't I don't know anything, you yeah. know, like... Ar- Earl like Scruggs wise, tore it up, man. Or, like, like history-wise, I guess. So, yeah. He, Earl Scruggs was the first attributed to it. Boom, gotcha. this song is his. Okay, okay. But many believe he got it from somebody it's been, else. It's and been somebody rewritten else and, over yeah. time. I see. Okay. Or like redone or whatever. Like yeah. re sang. Hand it down. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to steal, steal from the great. You know what I mean? Like steal That's from it. the greatest. That's I mean, a lot of songs are that way. I mean. Oh, fucking... dude. Musicians are the world's greatest thieves, bro. Yeah. Like we we literally, we just we just take everything from anything well, not else. Not to mention like a lot of uh, religious music, especially when it comes to like uh, – uh, Baptist denominations or whatever, if they sing out of hymnals, um, some mm-hmm. of those are actually uh, Negro spirituals, and they've been oh, around really? for, I mean, thousands. Of oh, years, yeah, sure, yeah, of years. yeah, like, sure. It's, yeah, so, I mean, some of those are just author unknown. Author unknown. Like, just, this is where it it's just been came, handed down. came from the past before music was, like, recorded. It's just yeah. people just been singing it for centuries. Like, yep. that's so crazy, it's dude. so wild. All right, let's go. Dread of my days I have been running from these ghosts within my head. Can bury me in some deep valley for many years where I'm lay. Then you may learn to love another while I am sleeping in my grave. While he is sleeping in his grave. May think I'm just a stranger, my face you'll never see no more, oh my, there is one promise that is given, well I'll meet you on God's golden shore. so effortless this has some very like virginia slash pennsylvania vibes to it definitely the scenery big time dude big time the old trains all the all the trees just yeah trees everywhere that's a that's a big thing i I was gonna say like carolina mississippi type but the trees are too thick thanks for watching i should mention that the train tracks i was walking down were not in use so please 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 don't (laughs) go walking down any train tracks near you Trains are big and strong, and you are soft and squishy. <laughs> Special thanks to my Patreon community. Love that. Especially Love Paul Draco, Christy Jones, Sarah O, Laura Mueller, Patricia Schumann, Debbie Goodling, Emily Zavst, Carl and Melanie Thomas, Osa M. Lagnestall, and Dorothy Brune. Thanks again. Let's see you all soon. Get them. Yeah, that's the thing about... Uh... He has no friends to help him now. All y'all well, back east or on, on the coasts, you know, I guess the west coast is kind of similar as well. Uh, you guys you guys are all real used to your trees out there. There's just trees everywhere. Yeah. Come out to Wyoming. Like, there are parts of Wyoming where I would consider, like, yeah, there's quite a bit of trees out here. And, like, you people that are from the east and west coast would come out here and be like, where? 
Where, <laughs> where, where are, are the are trees they? that you're seeing? Because I've not seen like, what you, There's any. one right out that window. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's a couple right out there. It's like, no. No. Nah. No, like in Pennsylvania, man, you walk you walk 50 feet from your house and you're in the forest. You're just yeah. in the forest. You dr- get on the highway, you're just driving through oh, the forest. Dude. It's crazy. Some places, North, South Carolina, Georgia even. Yeah. It some of them trees are so close to get the forest is so thick you can't walk through. Dude, that's like, like when we were on the highway driving through it literally was that. Like yeah. if you were to stop and get out and go over the barrier on the other side, dude, you could get you would get you lost. Take like four steps in. <laughs> dude, so gone. quick, man. Yeah. If you didn't know like if you couldn't hear the highway, dude, you would get turned around so fast. Yeah. They're so close together, man. Yeah. And they're all so tall. How are they growing that close together, dude? It's I don't know. No wind. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I guess you're right there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah what do you think, man? Oh, man. I Five out of five all day, yeah. man. Yeah, the, he, the scenery was great. Uh, his, his vocals are always fantastic. His, his style of, uh, it's not really songwriting. He didn't write the song, but he arranged it. His arrangement style, and yeah. And the arrangement yeah. style for this was, was very odd in a good way. Yeah. It, it gave it, because, I mean, a lot of people who are into this type of music have heard this song. Oh, a billion Thousands times. Thousands of times. Yeah. And I've never heard it that way. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. So. I'm not even into this kind of music, and I've heard that mm. song a thousand times. So yeah. that's why I was saying earlier, like, it's refreshing to hear him switch Fli- up the, yeah, the switch harmonies up. and the verses and stuff like and that. Throw that's... another song in the middle of it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I didn't even recognize because I'm not a country fan. To me, it was just <laughs> like, a, oh, cool. And, like, mm. I, I recognized that it wasn't part of the original song, but mm. I figured it was just something that he ad-libbed in there that oh, he was yeah. just throwing in or whatever. But, yeah. No, he... it sounded familiar. I just, I can't put a finger on okay. it, man. Yeah, amazing. But, yeah. Well, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video as much as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang. And with that, uh, that's as good as I can do. I will see y'all next time. <laughs> Bow. Bow. <laughs> Mine sounds more like a like a video game villain or something. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. <laughs>